possibility of the Triple G versus Eubank, how would it happen? What do you think of that? Okay. Eubank is okay, but he's not even close to what his father was. He's, he's not that good. Eubank has killed in that fight. I, I'm not a big fan of Eubank. No, I'm not. Eubank Sr. was a good fighter, a tough guy. Had a lot of balls. Um, I fought against him a couple of times. Um, tough guy. But um, his son, not even close. Yeah. Would you have been happy if the fight with Triple G would have been against a good middleweight that's coming up and not kill for him? The thing is, you have to take into consideration, he's a middleweight champion. Kel Brook offered to go up and wait. He's going to be a middleweight now. It really is not Triple G's fault. I mean, the thing is, I don't think any of these... Like, what happened to the mandatory? Where, like, where, where, where's the mandatories and stuff like that, you know? Why, is it, why aren't these, w, these officials pushing the mandatory so the best has to fight the best at some point? You know, but like, it just doesn't seem to happen. Daniel Jacobs, who's he? Uh, nah. Knocked out Peter Quillen in the one round. Oh, that guy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, Jacob is a kid with cancer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I like him. He's not a bad kid. He trained here before. Yeah, um, yeah I'm sorry. I forgot who he was for a second. Yeah, I, calling out Triple G. Um, I like that. That's a good fight. No, that's, a, that's, a real, that's a real fight. A real middleweight. <laughs> real good, but he's a good boxer also. And he can crack. G he can punch a little bit, and he, but he's a, he's a better boxer than people realize, I feel. He's, he, he had a great amateur career, too. I mean, no, I, you know, that's a, that's a real fight. I like that.